welcome back to my channel. I get asked a ton of times about skincare and my favorite skincare items and you know what is the one serum that I would want to have forever or like the one cleanser and I always find that difficult to answer because as I find new products new products kind of get added to that list of like oh my gosh this is the most amazing serum ever or this cleanser I can't live without now and but there are a few products like a handful of products that I have been using for a very long time and I've gone through multiples of them so I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through and show you what those products are and cl because clearly they work for me I've gone through I would say all of the products that I have here on the table with the exception of like maybe one or two I have gone through probably two or three bottles jars boxes of so and but I mean I obviously love a ton of other products as well but these have been I've been talking about probably on the blog for the longest time so I thought it'd be fun to kind of you know pull it all together in one video and if you have been following my blog for a long time all of these will be like yep yeah we heard that yeah yep we heard about that before yep so it could be kind of repetitious or it could be like a refresher for some of these because I haven't talked about them in a while. I don't know how to do this, so I'm just gonna like grab products and go. We're not gonna do it by category. First is a cleanser, and this is by Tata Harper. This is her regenerating cleanser. This is a more exfoliating cleanser. It's in a thick kind of creamy texture, however, but it does have slight little scrubby beads. They don't even feel like beads. They feel like sand. That's what they feel like. So. I have been using this, this is probably either my second or third bottle I've gone through of her Regenerating Cleanser. I used to have it in the squeeze tube and now she finally has it in the pump, which is so much better. And I find it just is a great exfoliating cleanser. I can use it every day, but I tend to like to, you know, space it out a little bit more maybe every other day. And I enjoy it in the morning when, you know, I'm in the shower or I can use it as a second cleanse. Obviously it's not good at removing makeup, but it is more of a clarifying and exfoliating treatment. But it was one of the first Tata Harper products I ever tried. I think I tried her resurfacing mask first, which I really enjoyed. But then I tried this cleanser and I was like, okay, I get it. The cleanser just, you know, stood out among everything else. Another cleanser that I've been using for a very long time, as you can see, this is a brand new bottle because I just finished a bottle, the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. This does not have any scrubby beads in it, but it is, it has um, alpha hydroxy acids in it. So it does give a light exfoliation. It's a thick gel. I love to use this in the morning. And I find that, like I've said before, when talking about this, the best results I find are when I'm using it regularly, like every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks. If I just throw it into my routine, just one day randomly, obviously I'm not going to really see the results. I mean, a Tata Harper, you see it instantly because of the little exfoliating particles. But this definitely takes some time to kind of see the results. But that being said, I think that's bottle number five. So that actually may be out of this entire, yep, it is probably the product I've been using the longest out of everything. Next is another cleanser, and I have multiple backs up, backups of this because I love it so much. It's the Eve Loam Just Regular Cleanser, her cult classic cleansing balm that she is familiar with smells very kind of medicinal but it is very thick and I don't like to use it to remove makeup I don't want to waste it removing makeup I would like to use it as a second cleanse and I like to kind of massage it in leave it on for a minute or two and then remove it with a washcloth or a muslin cloth or whatever and I probably should say there are some products that I actually don't have right now because I finished them and I have a list going like in my phone of like things I need to pick up. For example, like the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm in the kind of tub. That is one of my favorite products to remove makeup. I've been using it for years. So I tried to pull with what I still had, though I was like thinking as I'm pulling things out, I'm like, oh, I really love that and that I need to get. And so there may be things here that I don't have anymore that are kind of like on a repurchase list, but I want to focus at least on what I have. This next one is a very unique product that I found a couple years ago and I really didn't know what it did. 
but it was like a cult classic product from the line. And as soon as I tried it within the first two or three days, I was like, oh, so interesting. It's the Neil's Yard Remedy Beauty Sleep Concentrate. It's a moisturizer. It's for all skin types. You use it at night and it really helps the skin to recharge, relax, and it just, it says it works with your skin's natural nighttime rhythm. I, I'm not quite sure what that means. All I know is the first time I ever used it, I woke up the next morning and my skin was so even. There was no redness around my nose, no redness in my forehead, nothing. It looked like my skin had had the best sleep of its life, regardless of how I actually slept. And I just started using it night after night after night. And it does such a wonderful job. Now, it's an organic line, and it smells very kind of organic, I guess. It has a very herbal scent to it. It smells very aromatic. So part of what I enjoy about it is it's very calming. So when I'm putting it on at night, the scent of it alone can help relax me. So I think it's a whole experience with this product, but... This is definitely, this is bottle number two, I believe, because I've already finished one like a long time ago. Okay, face oil, the Artemis by oil by Sunday Riley. Um, and yes, I heard this is being discontinued, but if we're speaking truthfully as to what I've been using the longest, this is one of the um, products. And I use such a small amount, though, because it is so thick but it really does a great job of helping me balance my skin so I don't get too oily. It helps to clarify the skin so I don't break out as much. My pores look a lot more decongested when using this. The How I really love to use it actually, and I've been on a kick recently of, of this is back in my routine, and I've been using it first underneath my serum and my moisturizer. And I know that seems kind of counterintuitive because oils are so thick nothing can really penetrate them. But I have found it to be, I just like the combination that I've been using. So I've been using it underneath my serum or underneath my moisturizer and I just find that I'm really loving how my skin looks the next morning. Another great way to use this oil in particular, I love to do cleanse my skin, do a very kind of intensive peel, whether it's by a peel pad or a peel mask, and then just this, and that's it, and go to sleep. Oh, my skin wakes up the next morning and it is so, first of all, smooth, balanced, glowing, but not shiny. So love that oil, sad that it's being discontinued. Um, will I stock up on a ton of bottles? No, because I have a good amount here and I have plenty of other oils in my routine or my skincare regimen that I really, really enjoy. So it's not to the point where I wouldn't, I couldn't live without it. There are some products here that I like could not live without and I would buy backups of. This is not one of them, but I do really enjoy it and it's been in my skincare routine a very long time. Uh, exfoliator, Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I'm not always the biggest fan of manual exfoliators, I've said before, because I like to get most of my exfoliation from acids. However, the Kate Somerville one, I like it because it gives a manual exfoliation, but it also has enzymes in it, so you get that acid exfoliation. And I like that she's made it in different strengths, so people with sensitive skin can use it. People without sensitive skin, like myself, can use a different formula. There's like different grades, so to speak, of her exfoliate range. There's I think this one for sensitive skin, and then a regular one. And it's just a very intensive exfoliating treatment, but your skin afterwards, so smooth. All right, I haven't talked about this product in a long time, and it, my mom had this one because I gave it to her to try. She actually didn't like it, so she gave it back to me, and I was like, oh, you didn't like this? It's the Pericone MD Face Finishing Moisturizer. One of my favorite moisturizers of all time. It, when I, you know what I struggle with these products? Why do I like them? Because my skin always looks good when I'm using them. And I know that's such a silly, like, well, you're going to need to be more technical than that. And it's, it's hard because I just know that, like, when I started using this moisturizer, I was using it every night. I love the way it absorbed in my skin. It was very lightweight. It's an anti-aging moisturizer. And I noticed that every night after I put it on, like an hour later, my skin would feel so good, look so supple and kind of plump and I didn't break out. And I was going on for like weeks and weeks and I'm like, 
whoa. But and then every time I would like remove this out of my routine and put something else in, I got good results, but my skin stayed consistently great. That's the thing with some skincare products is they have a good run with me for like a few weeks and then sometimes they'll like fall off result wise. These products have a very consistent performance in my opinion for my skin. I have been using this so for so long, for a couple years now, and it just consistently always makes my skin look good. I can be using it for like a month, I can be using it for six months, and it just, my skin never falls off the wagon, so to speak. And, but my mom found that she just didn't think it was moisturizing enough and it wasn't doing anything for her, and I was like, but maybe because she has more drier, more mature skin, and my skin's a little bit more normal to oily, and that's why this works so well. But I find that it really addresses anti-aging concerns, but also is just an all-around great moisturizer. Sunscreen, the Shiseido Urban Environment SPF 42. There are a ton of sunscreens that I love. This one I've been using the longest because it's a great mattifying one. It works great as a primer and gives good SPF, SPF 42. I never burn with it on my face. I love it under makeup. I love it alone. I love it at the beach. And I will never be without this. This is the one that I would buy backups of. Cleansing oil, the Tatcha Pure Camellia Cleansing Oil. Been using this for a very long time. It's one of the first cleansing oils I started using when I first started blogging. Very thick, but like liquid silk. Very great at removing makeup, very great at really cutting through as many layers as I'm wearing and leaving my skin so clean. And I can get away with only one cleanse with this. That is how effective it is. I don't sometimes even need a second cleanse because this really does such a fantastic job. It's my mom's favorite cleansing oil. I mean, we're like, there's a lot of these products in here are also my mom's favorite. So this is one of them. She really enjoys that one. All right. The SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I've talked about it a million times. I've been through countless bottles and it is a splurge worthy product, I feel. And how I've described it in the past is I wasn't sure what it was doing for my skin at first until I removed it out of my routine. And my skin got very unbalanced when I removed it out of my routine. And I find that this in particular really makes my skin very balanced. It becomes as close to normal as possible. Not normal to oily, not normal to dry, not combination. It gets very normal. And my skin just looks a lot brighter. It looks a lot more even tone. It looks a lot more hydrated. And it is just, no other essence really can live up to it. I, I have different ones that I've tried here and there that I've enjoyed and that have really, you know, are definitely worth me mentioning and recommending, but this still sits at the top. Okay, this is one I've been using for quite some time, but not as long as some of these. But it's, I would say it's newer of the long using products. The Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting Liquid. And this has salicylic acid in it. It's great for blemishes, breakouts, acne. It's like a little miracle in a bottle. When I am breaking out and my skin is just really not acting right, I pull that out and we go for a couple weeks and my skin clears up and stays clear for a very long time afterwards. Um, another toner that I love is the Pixie Glow Tonic. Been talking about this for a long time. Many of you have been like, yeah, we know. And many of you have said that you purchased it after um, hearing me talk about it and it worked for you so much. It's a very gentle exfoliating toner, at least I think. And that's what I've gotten feedback from some people. It's, it's a very gentle one. There are definitely stronger ones out there, but it is great because it's, it's for almost every skin type. If you had exceptionally sensitive skin or maybe rosacea, I think it's a, you know, a specific thing because I have some friends that do and it works for them and other people I know that do that have those same skin conditions and it doesn't work for them. But I find that it's one of the most gentle exfoliating toners out there. And it's great because you can use it every single day. Sometimes you can use it twice a day uh, and it just will give you just a little bit of exfoliation that you need in your routine. Okay. Um, this product, I actually just took it out of the box. I just finished one a few weeks ago and I have another one, a backup. It's the Tatcha Gentle Rice Enzyme Powder. 
actually I've tried all of the enzyme powders. So this is the gentle one. There is one for oily skin. There's a classic one and there's a gentle one. I like them all. I have to say, I tend to gravitate more towards the classic, but I really like the gentle as well. This is one of the first enzyme powders, if not the first enzyme powder I ever tried. And I was like, well, these are amazing because it's just the most, the finest amount of exfoliation you can get in kind of a powdery form, but it has the enzymes in it. So it definitely helps to break down any dead skin. And the powder is so fine though. So you don't get a granular feeling. This one in particular, she just, I, I, I feel like Tatcha kind of started, didn't start the entire enzyme powder trend, but she was definitely one that gained a lot of traction and um, press and social media buzz starting out with these enzyme powders. And that's really kind of what began capturing people's attention about her brand. And it's still one of her top selling products and it's one of her most effective products. First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. You can see a theme here. I love to exfoliate. Not over exfoliate, but I do love to exfoliate. And these are kind of a step up from the Pixi Glow Tonic. So if you like, you want something a little bit stronger, I like to use these in my toning stuff. They're kind of an acid toning pad, and they're but they're really gentle as well. They don't dry my skin out. They don't make it feel like tight afterwards. And this is tub five. Yes, because I've been through the large tubs and the small tubs. This is tub five. I also have the blemish patrol pads from First Aid Beauty. I'm actually out of them right now. So that's on my repurchase list. But thankfully, I found one of these a little travel size in my drawer over here. So I pulled that out. And I absolutely love those. Okay, I don't, I have talked about this product before. And but it hasn't been highlighted a lot on my channels or on my blog a ton. But I realized how Frequently, I have used it over the years, and it's a Dermalogica Active Moist. And it's a moisturizer. It has an awful name, Active Moist. We all know we don't like that second word. And, but it is a really great, it's an oil-free, lightweight lotion. And it is probably one of the, the easiest moisturizers that I have in my collection that I always know is going to, it gives my skin an instant boost of hydration. It's lightweight. It's very fresh, hydrating, feels great on the skin, never makes me oily. I don't know. I just always have a tube of this somewhere. And I was, I was going through all my products pulling for this video. I was like, why haven't I talked about this more? It's such a great moisturizer. So here I'm talking about it. All right. Another Dermalogic product. Actually, no, I don't want to talk about that one. This one, this is the one I wanted. The multivitamin power recovery mask by Dermalogica. One of my favorite masks of all times, probably my top three favorite masks. It pulls your skin together like no other. If you have a fancy event to go to, if you woke up, like woke up late, if you drank too much the night before, if whatever it is, if your kids kept you up or something, put this mask on, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, tissue it off, press the rest of the product into your skin. Mm -hmm. Instant like boost instant. I just went to the facial or the spa and came back and look how great my skin is in a tube. And this is, um, tube three of this. I absolutely, absolutely love that stuff. It's one of my, like I said, my favorite masks of all times. All right. Talking about some peels. I have some more that I've been using for a very long time, talking for a very long time about the power glow peel pads from blue mercury and the uh, Dr. Dennis gross alpha beta daily peel pads. This is the extra strength. I love both of them. Yes, I love both of them. I think I tried the power peel pads first from Blue Mercury uh, and they are amazing. I find them of an equal strength. Hmm. No, I think I get more of a tingle with the power peel pads than I do with these, but I like them both. And I think they're, I've been using them for many, many years and I always have a box of either in my collection somewhere. The Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum. Just finished a bottle of this. It's a great vitamin C serum. Helps to brighten. It immediately absorbs into my skin. Um, this is bottle number three because I've been through, you know, two bottles prior. And I love it in the daytime. I love it under makeup and during the day. It really helps to kind of hydrate my skin, give it that boost of vitamin C, help with radiance. 
and it never makes me shiny. Okay, another one, this is bottle number two, the Clarins Double Serum. A lot of people ask me, you know, what is the best anti-aging serum, or I'm looking for a new serum to help with fine lines, wrinkles, firmness, all that kind of thing. Clarins Double Serum is it's an anti-aging serum, but it is one of the ones that I find is kind of encompasses everything in one serum. And the results are not like jaw dropping to the point where you're like, my skin is a whole, it, it's amazing, but it's consistent. Like I've said before, these products I go back to time and time again, because they just work. They consistently make my skin look great. When I'm using the Clarins Double Serum, my skin looks a lot firmer, wrinkles, any fine lines I have look a lot more minimized. My skin looks brighter, more even toned. I never, ever break out from this. And I recommend it to people who are just looking for an anti-aging treatment to add into their routine. I think it's great for any and all ages. I mean, if you're 18, first of all, if you're 18 and you're, you know, watching my videos, like, yay, welcome. That's great. I'm like almost double your age. I am double your age. But if you're, if you're 18, stick to like basic hydrating stuff. If you're in your early 20s, I would say like under 23, stick to like hydrating products and just protecting your skin with sunscreen. Once you get above in your mid to late 20s, yeah, I would say this is a good product you can add in there for anti-aging um, prevention. And then I would say any age up from there could benefit from something like this thrown into their routine. Sunday Rally Good Jeans, bottle number three. I believe. Yes, it's as good as everyone says, brightens, exfoliates. It's one of those products. Some of these take some time to show results. This develops, you'll see results within the first few days. At least I did. I saw my skin responded immediately to this and was very bright. It is a, a truly brightening um, serum. The Joanna Vargas Daily Serum. Many of you have heard me talk about this before. It is a great, she calls this a green juice for the face. Don't you want to, you, you want to put this on your face now, don't you? It's packed with tons of antioxidants and nutrients and vitamins, and it's more designed to just help give your skin the nutrition and the hydration and the replen and replenish everything that it's losing throughout the day. It's not necessarily like targeting fine lines or targeting dark spots. It's just a really good daily serum. Hence, that's why she named it. I like this in the morning and it looks flawless under makeup. My skin is so hydrated when after using that and moisturized. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Okay. This one and this one. Okay. The Mario Badescu a buffering lotion. Been using it probably if I can find a place where it's gonna, well, the buffering lotion by Mario Badescu. My lens isn't working with me. Great at cystic blemishes. I've been using it for years and years and years. The ones that really like bother me around my chin that get under the skin, that's great for targeting those. And the Evelum Rescue Mask. This mask does everything but give you a hug and make you coffee. It helps to brighten, firm, decongest, hydrate. I mean, it, it rescues your skin. That's what it does. I, I didn't think a mask could do every single thing, but this manages to. And this is, I think my third one of this. I've had three, two other tubes prior. And I just, I tend to travel with this a lot because either this one or my multivitamin power recovery mask, because both of them will pull my skin together in a few minutes flat and make it act right. So hope you found this helpful and you found some new things to try or things that you already were using and kind of were in agreement with me or disagreement. That's okay too. And I'll list everything that I mentioned down below. And if you've used any of these products, I'd love to hear your feedback and what you think. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.